Before the cars and aeroplanes, the only way to travel across deserts were the camels. Undoubtedly, this is the reason they are known as ship of deserts. Camels are so amazing that despite being in the desert where there is scarcity of food, water and vegetation, they survive. They give us ride and carry heavy loads around. Even this is not it. They give us milk, meat, fur and skin. Each camel can produce 5 pounds of hair a year. The art of making clothes with camel fur is too old. The wearing of camel hair clothing is mentioned even in the Bible. If we talk about camel milk, then let me tell you, soon the camel milk will be considered as one of a superfood. As it is loaded with vitamins and minerals, camel's milk has more fat and proteins than cow's milk. Camel's milk is good for diabetic as it has proteins and insulin. Cholesterol in camel's milk is less than cow or goat's milk. So isn't camel a blessing for human? Going in the history of camels, here I am going to share something which you must haven't heard before. Camels originated in North America before humans were living on this continent. Scientists have found fossils of them which proves it. The ancient camels were much different from the ones which exist today. Some had long necks and looked like small giraffes, and others were small about the size of a rabbit. These creatures spread out from North America to South America where they became llamas that live here today. Others crossed the land bridge that connected North America and Asia and became modern camels, the one which we see today. Those that stayed in North America have extinct. Camels are of two types, dormitory camels and Bactrian camels. Camels with one hump are called dormitory camels and camels with two humps are called Bactrian camels. Now the question arises, how are camels fit to live in desert? Camels have many adaptations that allow them to live successfully in desert conditions. Deserts are hot and dry, wind blows and sand is all around. Camels have thick eyelashes to protect their eyes from sand and dust. They can actually walk in sand without eyes opened. Their eyes have three eyelids and two rows of eyelashes. Isn't it amazing? Their ears are furry. Hair keeps the sand and dust away. Even their nostrils can prevent the sand from entering by closing in between breaths. Camel's foot consists of two toes that spreads when animal touches the ground and prevent sinking in sand. Ever wondered why a camel's mouth seems to be split into two? This helps them to eat food more efficiently. Camels have hump. The only time when you will see a camel without a hump it will be the time when it's first born. Once he starts eating solid, the hump starts growing. Many people think that camel stores water in their humps, but that is not true. Hump has nothing to do with water. Camel's hump actually stores flesh and fat, which the camel uses as nutrition when food is scarce. When a camel uses its fat in its hump for nutrition, the mound shrinks and become flabby. If a camel uses too much of the fat in the hump, the hump will not only shrink, it will flop and hang down the camel's side. After resting and eating, the hump will return to its normal upright condition. Camels rarely sweat in summers. They have thick skin coats that keep the body cool. They lose less water in urine. Camels can drink up to 200 liters water in just 15 minutes and that too in one go. Camels have oval shaped red blood cells in which they store water. Some other facts about camels are Camels are herbivores. The average life expectancy of a camel is 40 to 50 years. Pregnancy in camels can last from 9 to 14 months depending upon the availability of food. Camel's baby is known as calf. 
a calf can start walking after few hours of birth camels are very social that's why most of the time they are seen in groups and a group of camel is referred to as caravan flock train or herd camels can be tall as 7 feet and weigh up to 1500 pounds a bactrian camel can carry a load of 250 kg for 4 days without stopping that's more than the weight of 3 adult humans there are more than 1 million wild camels in australia they were introduced to the continent by humans in the 19th century so here were the some facts about camels if you know more you can share with us you can write it in the comment box and you can share with everyone thank you and please don't forget to subscribe our channel advanced talk